This right here in my hand, this is the sugar cane of the desert. You want to know what this is, how to utilize it? Nobody else does. Watch the video. Hey guys, I'm going to show you a desert survival hack. And this is a trick that you're not going to find anywhere else. And it has to do with these yuccas back here. Now you've seen people make cordage out of the leaves, soap out of the roots, eat the pods, eat the seeds, even the flower blossoms. This is not that. You're going to want to know this one. Now the resource that we're going after with this yucca, most folks would think this is uh, already past expiration. This is going to be the stalk as it dries. We're getting into summertime. See the flowers have already been here and gone. Can't eat those. The pods have formed. Those are still developing seeds. If you pull those pods off, the seeds will continue to develop. What we're going after is this big stalk. And it's just about done all that it can. All right, to go ahead and remove it now. What we want. Get away from those spiky leaves now. Now it's this moist pith here on the inside. That's what we're after. The outside's starting to dry out. It's uh, getting harder and harder. In the next couple weeks, it'll turn brown and uh, pretty much be like a branch. So pretty thick. What I'm gonna do now is we're going to be scraping off this outside fibrous layer so we have nothing but the inside left. So take a look. This is close to two pounds. There's a lot of liquid still left in this stalk. This is the prize right here. Now it's time to show you exactly how we can use it and why we went through this effort. Now this is the enjoyable part. What you're gonna wanna do is shave off bits. I like to call this the sugar cane of the desert. Right, it might look like a piece of woody bark still feel a lot of moisture in there it's even better if you get this right after a good rain so all you got to do to enjoy it now is break up the cell walls chew it up as you would sugar cane chew on it and then suck the fluids out all the way through this kind of tastes like well sugar water uh, hummingbird water take a little bit of nice cool water put a little bit of sugar in there tastes like fruit juice no bad aftertaste if you're needing water if you're needing sugar in the desert in a survival situation you always need sugar this is a meal and a half right here so just shave off parts and pieces chew on it take it with you as long as it stays fairly hydrated you're going to be good to go but it's just like sugar cane you crush it get the sugar out And it's a real treat. It really is, guys. This is something everybody ought to try. Absolutely. All right. So other areas of note, guys. So chip these off and I mash on them and suck out the juice. And you can still go ahead and add these to a pot of water and reduce them down. And that's gonna get a lot more sugars out of that. So you're not just done with it. Uh, it's a good snack on the go. Easy to transport, easy to get at. But uh, you can continue to gain and reap benefits from this 
Also, uh, back in the day, we're talking centuries ago, any kind of thing out here in Texas that produced sugar was fermentable. So this right here, there's a lot of old stories where they left the woody stalk on here, cut it up into sections like this, threw it on the fire, gave it a good bake, which made it mushy on the inside, and then left it for two or three days. And what that does is it breaks down all the sugars all the way through there, starts up the fermentation process, and what you are left with afterwards is a extremely alcoholic sour mash. And so that's uh, primitive alcohol. Uh, drinking is not everybody's thing, but when you're playing the survival game, making alcohol is just another way to preserve things. And uh, your body does know how to make alcohol into calories. It's just another way to keep your weight up and keep going. I'm not saying go out there and get smashed drunk out in the woods. Uh, don't, especially in survival. But uh, diversify your foods, diversify your calorie loads, and change up and try and balance out as much as you can. Uh, nothing's going to be ideal, but when you have excess, make the best out of it. Now, undoubtedly, some of you are wondering once I cut the stalk off and these pods fall on the ground, have I just destroyed all the seeds for this plant? Now, a lot of folks will actually bake these. I've done a video on that. Check it out. When you cut them open, they actually look like okra. They taste pretty good if you give them quite a few hours to clean up. So, still pretty soft, but all the sugar, all the calories to build the seeds are actually inside of here right now. So even if you were to cut that stalk off when the flower blossoms are still on this, you have enough sugar inside that system to continue building these pods and maturing these seeds up as long as those flowers are pollinated so nothing's wasted the idea here is that these pods become very tasty full of sugar a couple weeks away from that and uh, once that's done a lot of creatures will come up nibble the pods off eat them and in doing so they'll disperse the seeds out and about and in their own fertilizer and that's how that works so the seeds are still good except for the one I just cut up they'll continue to mature Something will enjoy them, and you'll have yuccas all over the place to enjoy for years and years, whatever you need. Again, soap, rope, all different kinds of food, different tastes, different parts of your diet. Go ahead and check how these seeds taste. Initial taste is good. Not bad starting to lose that chemical flavor because they're almost mature. One of the big lessons that I like to teach out here in desert survival is that the plants that have the most armor, the most deterrence, usually have the most to lose. So when you look at this plant, you try and figure out exactly why it's built these things. Well, what is it trying to protect? The leaves full of fiber, saponins, that's no good. The roots are full of soap and saponins, nothing can eat those. So all this armor here is just to protect the stalk and the pods. There's that many calories, that much sugar. It's that important to this plant to make sure that those things are not eaten. And so when you go through the desert, when you look at the plants and the creatures around, try and figure out why they're designed, why they look the way they do, and how that can help you out. So hopefully y'all learned something, guys. Pretty interesting pods. Seeds are developing. Once they dry out, they're actually like a barley. You can grind them up, you got to make flour and utilize those later on. But again, sugar, just like sugar cane, guys. This is desert sugar cane. Uh, the yucca stalk, useful even after the flowers and blossoms and it's hardened up. A lot of good calories in there. So, guys, like, subscribe, follow us. Uh, tell us what you think about this, comment, share the heck out of these videos. And as always... Till next time. It's good stuff. Find yourself surviving out the desert, trying to beat the heat, stay hydrated, pull you up some shade in the middle of the day, find you a yucca stock, enjoy some yucca juice, be way ahead of the game. Not a bad way to spend an afternoon though.